Welcome back to another video of Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. These guys are so ready to work. This guy is almost level 32 as well. Hmm. Are you gonna walk faster, my buddy? Getting closer and closer to level 40. That's gonna be awesome once we reach that. Where's my pink drink, dude? Yeah, the pink drink needs to get done. And the red one. Hey! Don't you have work to do? <laughs> okay, I need to hold it in my hand then. Do we have some of those? I mean, I just assumed that we do. The green one. We have so many green toilet paper rolls. It's whatever. It will work soon. Go, Mabri. Don't let your dreams be memes. Go do it. Go do your job. We just reached uh, reach level 63, which is great. I think after today... Hmm, maybe not. I was like, maybe we can... Uh, we can upgrade. We have a few open shelves, which is great. But we don't even know what the next uh, product license will require. Uh, let's just see over here how that would look like. So beer, 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 vodka again, whiskey and wine. So I think wine will be the only one that's going to be in a fridge, right? Everything else should be on a shelf. Everything. Hmm. So these inputs is from our team. It's not from me. So where is this peanut butter? I think it was here somewhere. I shouldn't have moved it though. Oh, my goodness, red sauce. Red sauce is done. Uh, let's buy hot, hot sauce. Okay, let's put this on it. Okay, so we have another shelf open, which is great. It's just great. You know, the best thing for me to do then is to not put it down. Because then we can actually take catch up. I 
I don't know if we have more catch up. Ah, oh, dude. Quickly, buy two catch ups. Anyone? Quickly. Sir, I know you want catch up. Quickly, before my machines come. No, catch up. <gasps> no, that's just one. Dude, catch up, catch up. There we go. Nice. Nailed it. So we need to buy more hot sauce. So what I'm trying to accomplish is the double purchase will not glitch out. Dude, if we have rice, we do, but it's full. That's not cool. We need one person to buy rice. Do 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 do. We're just trying. Try. Oh, there, there's. There's the peanut butter. No one bought rice yet, girl. Hey, buy rice, please. We can then get rid of one shelf. Come on. Peanut butter got added. Oh, we can definitely make some moves to the pink cold drink. No one has bought rice. And there's no more clients uh, moving around. So I think peanut butter got picked up from the floor. Since I don't think it will be added here. Yeah, it's not. Okay, this guy is glitched. Bro, it keeps happening on the same shelf. So I'm honestly wondering if we go a little bit more back. For now, it's whatever, dude. We can get the pink cool drink. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? There we go. So that's one more move done. Okay, let's end the day here. Products found expensive. Well, too bad, so sad. Okay. Oh. My goodness. You know, I have to wait with this in my hands. We're not gonna unglitch the other guy. He's just gonna chill there for a minute. I honestly do think it's toilet paper the whole time. Come on, one person takes spaghetti. No, dude. Why? Next time, next time, dude. We have small bread. I think we do, but it's not on that shelf. Uh, okay. That is a blue. Or is that rice? No, it's not rice. So it should be pasta then. Where's the pasta? Where's that rack, dude? That is pasta. Okay, we need to unstuck the other guy. Eye ring, there we go. It's the wrong guy.
Let me guess. <clears throat> He's gonna put pasta now in a different rack. Watch. Okay, then. I should maybe add that mod where... If something touches the floor, it would be racked immediately. Because I think that's also when the glitch happens. Do we have pink cold drink? Come on, people, buy some pink cold drink, dude. We just need four buys, bro. No, pink, pink, pink. Bro, that's orange. Are you colorblind? Pink Mabri. Thank you. <laughs> now get more. Oh. Dude is about to go to level 38. Pink, 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 pink. Hey. Level 38, dude. Look how fast it is. My goodness. Let me catch his order and restock it quickly. Wait. There's no one gonna buy pink. Come on. We need we have two bottles, bro. What? I'm 
catching everything, don't you? Don't tell him. He's stealing. You know, make like South Africa, dude. We double sell products because that's how we roll. Products not found was five. Well, that's great. Nice. Nice. We can we can sort out mayonnaise quickly. He's stuck. That should be mayonnaise solved. Did I just want a, a glitch free experience? You know what I'm saying? And for us to do for for us to get that, we we have to put our back into it. After today, we're gonna buy the new product license. <gasps> Pink. That's red, girl. Colorblind, much. Come on, don't let my dreams be memes. What are you doing? Come on. No. Cheese mozzarella. Come on. Ah. Ooh, it's gone. There we go. Bro, you're blocking the view, man. Like, what are you doing? There we go. Do we have... The one all the way up there is empty. There it is. Okay, let's get this guy fixed.
Good, he was gonna he was carrying the pink thing. Nailed it. I think that's the starting water. It's not. It's the new water. It's here somewhere. It's just gone, dude. Here it is. You know, we could have moved it to, yeah. Mm. Come on. Someone bypassed our place. There is a mod for what I'm trying to accomplish as well. You can mark a label red and they will never rack there again. Dude, we're sitting on almost $30,000. Okay, we can solve that bread. So I'm gonna just put this here for now, so that they won't touch it. Uh, we'll end the day. Oh man, there was still one customer. As I click end, she just came out of the corner. So we need to buy the new bread sandwich bread I think they will throw away the box for the experience
So then that's done. Dishwasher tablet. Nah, dude, it's still full. Actually, let's just put it here. Not bad. Not bad at all. We have a lot of open shells, dude. Can we get something done with tea? Hmm, let's just try these two. Perfect. Okay, coffee. It's full also. Crispy chair, crispy. I don't know where it is. Found it. Yeah, it's still going to be a while for that. Dude, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Both is full. Okay. Whatever, we're slowly but surely attacking this glitch, okay? In all honesty, I think we could have fixed it by now, but... With a mod, obviously. You could select the shelf. Maybe I should just get it quickly. Just let me Give me a second. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm happy and sad at the same time. Because if I minimize, the game doesn't play. There's a 460 megabytes update that just literally just came out. And for me to open up the game, I had to update. 
And... And nothing works. And nothing works. Well, that mod works. But where's my workers? It's like no mod is working at the moment. Where's... <gasps> oh, yeah. What? So it looks like they added snapping also, so we'll see. I can't click on this now. Yeah, my whole game is broken, dude. I can't even press escape. Um, it, it still act like I have an item in my hand. Come on, bro. Why now? You get a tablet um, after you reach store level 3. But like, no, no mod works anymore with this update, it seems. That's, that's just... I don't know what to say. I need to try and figure this out. Yeah, I'm gonna just follow the quest right now. Buy 8 paints. Should we do it maroon? Sure. Oh. So I don't really want to paint the back wall. Because I think the shop will go more that way. The bucket is empty. Just like my hopes right now. Because my mods is not working. And that might mean I, I will play something else. Oh, I see that wall. I can paint that wall as well. Uh, buy tablet from market. Yeah, it might mean that I'll play another game uh, and until the mods that I really love has an update. Because my worker's not even showing up and everything like that, so... I like the walls, dude. Looks pretty nice. It's a pretty, pretty nice color. But how am I going to play something else? I need an hour and 20 minutes of content still for this game. Huh. 
loading area. So we know now that the other mod also don't work. The mod that drops items. Uh, in Well, we don't know that really. The auto buy one. So the game is saying we need to buy a tablet. Sign category. So racks. Uh, tools. So there's the tablet. Required license count is three. So leave the computer. Hold tab to open the wheel. And then click on tablet. Okay. And the objective disappear. Show the amount of owned product. Oh. Did can the objective disappear? Purchase an order with your tablet. So what is low? Or what don't we have? Purchase. So now we know that doesn't work. Uh, this ice cream is here somewhere. So now we have a tablet. But obviously we're barely going to use this ever, to be quite honest. <laughs> so that is only to buy... That's only to buy um, stock. It's actually not that bad. It's a pretty nice uh, feature. Because now I can literally stand anywhere and buy. Because it's just a... The product is low. And I could just buy it. Uh, can I see... Let's see here. Market. Products. There we go. So now it shows on the screen. Display... Uh, well, cereal, right? Cereal. Then it says display is on shelf. Unit price below that. On the right side of that it shows. We have 78 that is in the shop. And 12 that is in a box. So that means storage. And this way I could just like scroll down here, stock taking on this tab. Um, and that's just going to be so beneficial. Uh, especially the way we have our setup. So this update is actually pretty nice. Uh, the other thing about this update is if you have a self checkout, uh, every now and then customers is going to ask for help. So that you can, uh, you have to go help them. So you go to the self checkout and you have to check it out for them. So six, twenty four, twenty. Like nothing is zero. That's in a box. Well, I can't see the bottom one. Bottom, yeah. So the add-on is working really nice when it comes to stock taking. It's just we have to get it to not be glitched, right? So I don't know how long it will take for uh, these mods that we're using uh, to be working on the new uh, the new patch. Because what, what happens is they just have to uh, rerun the code and extract it again. And then uh, it will work from then on forward. So what we can do right now is buy a floor as well. 
Uh, a little bit tired of the the wooden floor. Um, we can get uh, black tiles. I don't know how much we need. We'll buy eight. Dude, it's so cool. Now it's like that. I am the tile man. Dude, it's gonna be so much money to tile this whole place. But there's nothing else for me to do right now. My my game is not working. So We might as well make it good, uh, look good then. One eternity later. Dude, it looks so nice with the red wall. I mean, you gotta be honest, dude. It looks sexy, right? It is so expensive. You know what they say, looking good is expensive. So hard to see tiles that could be potentially I think that's everything. So yeah, it's a pretty big update that just came out though, to be honest. Pretty nice. I mean, if the auto buy mod doesn't work, look at this. I just want to show you guys. I can turn this into a red shelf. So that means that, like, the rest will get filled, but not there. Oh, and by the way, when the clients take off these two items, the label automatically disappears from here. So now I can easily, assuming that this mod works, 
I could just like turn stuff red. And then they will disappear over time. And that is how we're gonna uh, solve this issue a lot faster. A lot, a lot faster. So one, two. Yeah, one. One and two. So somehow, somewhere, we have 12 boxes of it. Infinite surmounts. Okay, so now we'll remove two. And yeah, overall, I mean, this is going to be pretty good. Two, three. I'm honestly hoping it's gonna do its thing and even save when I close the game. Dude, imagine this doesn't save.
Uh, we'll swap that around. Or uh, two above. So now you can clearly see we have way too many. Oh, dude, they changed. They changed chicken. Now chicken is instead of one. Oh, well. How much fit in there? I honestly can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Was it still four like this? Hmm, maybe, but it, it looks different. Okay. I don't remember it like that. So I think the shop is done now. Uh, let me go check on some updates. Maybe there's updates for some of these mods. Give me a second. You know... The game actually have a setting now that's called running background, so you don't need a mod for that anymore. So now if I press, you know, a Windows key, the game is still running, so that's great. Uh, I just want to see if my game is working if I move this. Nope, it's it's broken. So there's still a mod that is like interfering. And I, I did change the thingy majiggy, so I, I can't do anything. Okay, so, finally got the game to work. I just had to delete quite a few mods. I only have three mods enabled right now. Uh, don't know if this thing is gonna work, to be quite honest. But as you can see, no levels above their heads. That's gonna be annoying. Um, but we do have... I wonder, wonder if that mod is gonna work also. We'll see. Uh, the one that, you know, returned to red. And I had to... I have to redo everything again. But yeah, we'll see how it works. Um, obviously, you can see also that... The boxes is now just outside. So... But whatever, man, we got a tablet. So that's pretty cool. And at least one mod is working auto buying so we don't really have to do stock taking i just have to make sure that the uh the red thing works because that could be absolutely busted if it does can't believe i actually did all of this and now i have to redo it and now we're not farming experience But whatever, man. New update. Could be cool. Just listen. Okay, so the automatic pricing also don't work. We might actually enable the south checker uh, checkout. We'll see how bad the queue is.
Hey, girl. Definitely have to buy... Oh, I could just do it now, right here. Did we buy it? We did? So obviously not gaining experience. Uh, I don't think I can add the self checkout. We just don't. We just won't have any space. I think. I'm stuck. We just won't have any space for it, bro. Not anywhere. This is the closest place to having space. Dude, they're so slow. Oh my goodness. The automatic lights is working. Oh my goodness. The checkouts is, dude, what is happening now? Oh, look at how many, uh, Look at how many uh, restockers you can get now. The customer is waiting for help. Let's test this out. There we go. So you just hold left click and then you help. Hmm, her best, best stuff is sticking through. Dude, what is this? So we can place one more rack and get one more helper. Do 
I have a rack box. I was falling over them the whole time. Now I don't even see them. Really? You need help and it's two items? Oh my goodness. Kill me, please. Bro, what is happening here? Oh my... Oh my goodness. We need to check if that red label actually works. I think it will take a few days for it to, you know, accumulate action. Alright, we need to buy another rack so we can actually get another worker in. A uh, restocker. But yeah, in real time, I, I'll give it a few days. Especially for that mod. That gives the level and the experience. To just, uh, you know, uh, update their mod. I think during this time I'll finish uh, Gem Manager because I uh, I did a little bit of research on it and it's a very, very short game, to be honest. Bro, this is just absolute chaos. Okay, this is this is gonna be a nightmare. Products found expensive. <gasps> it automatic updated prices. Or did it automatically buy? Because I'm pressing Control R. I don't hear anything. So let's just have a look. Well, I'm, I I don't know where anything is on the shop. Blue pasta. Found it. I mean, that would still be the right price. It must be more, dude. Their coffee. 
Unit price is eight seventy five. I think the coffee is back here. Is it this one? Well, this didn't get restocked yet, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, in all honesty, we need to buy another shelf. We can buy category sign now. But I think it was there before. Doing that just to be able to order another uh, restocker around. And now it's also roughly the same price that we spend on daily wages. Really, bro? Oh, the working was turned off. Okay, I think uh, we'll just go. Ooh, dude. It didn't restock this. So the anti-stock thing still works. Um, on this patch as well. So the only bad thing is we need to wait for clients. be taking it off the shelf which is it's just gonna take time you know did you i got the box that i wanted because if he doesn't rack it wait that one was red oh If it doesn't rack it, then it doesn't auto buy. Someone's waiting for help.
Yeah, it was red and he restocked it, by the way. He restocked the top one. And the top one is red. So maybe it doesn't work? It's a lot of items, dude. Can I whisper in your ear? A dirty little story. No. Bro, the cash of uh, the checkouts is just absolutely bizarre at the moment. Maybe it should be two each. Look how many people is here. South checkout is just as fast as the cashier. The auto lights work at least. Look at them twin brothers. Look at that copy and paste, and then the angry man is like, hey. Couldn't find any cheese mozzarella. white one we have nine in a box maybe just buy a uh, boat I can't crouch yeah dude honestly three restockers is just not gonna cut it At this moment, it seems like we somehow need to get the third uh, checkout also in.
I got a gun. I'm not afraid to use it. I mean, this is this is a slow way of stock taking, actually. The fast way right now is uh, is just chilling here on this machine with the box icons. Thank you, come again. Look at that four eggs, dude. On display, there's one. Is that even true? No. Bro, we have zero. So what does that number even mean then? Uh, it's 12 in a box. There is 30 in the store. I think it's as a whole. Everything, including that's on the rack and also on the shelf. Chips, cheese mozzarella. He's gonna take. Yeah, yeah, he's taking it. He somehow like just picked it up out of his ass and throwing the box away. I don't think it's this one. No, this is the six one. We're looking for the four one. So we bought it. So we have to rack it for the other mod to work. So eventually this mod will just stop working because because the products need to get racked first. And the auto racker doesn't work. I mean, I think. I haven't tested it yet, but I think so. You can always switch it on. 
Yeah, give me a minute. Let's see. Okay. The automatic pricer add-on also doesn't work. Um, Redownload it. Still doesn't work. Uh, the red labels is kind of annoying because it doesn't save. Uh, also, the automatically rack doesn't work, so it's just chaos outside. Um, at least the game tries to pack them neatly. You know? But it does a pretty bad job at it. But yeah, we'll just uh, continue on with the game until until this part ends. And then we're gonna go more into a different game, so we're just gonna wait until uh, that employee mod works. Uh, this is fine. Six potatoes. Yeah, it takes a, it takes quite a few days uh, for these mods to to update. You rely on them to open up the game and be like, "Oh, uh, hmm, my mod ain't working." With some mods, have no issue because like it it has less code, it less functions. You know, that's why I'm I'm honestly stumped that the auto pricing doesn't work. That to me is a little weird also. But it's okay. We'll give it like two days. I should be done then with uh gym manager. This part one did pretty well, so we'll continue on with that game, finish it. It might be our first simulator then we finish on the channel. The gym manager. I wanted it to be to be this game though. But there's so many updates still coming, right? Gonna fight eggs? Well, we just bought, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there he goes. Eggs 12 pack. Why do you go to self-checkout if you can't do it? Well, I think it just bought more 12 egg pack. And this is happening because it's not racked. A 12 egg pack will never be racked. And I, I, for some reason, I can't get a racking mod to work. And I assume it's because they added the square. And now boxes is packed neatly. So the code changed for racking. And that's why I think, I think that doesn't work. Can't believe this update, bro. It's too far away to scan. It's 
So it shows 48. 47, 46. 45, 44, 43. So we have 11 on the shelf. So that means that it shows the stock and the uh, in-store, like all of them all together. Which is annoying because you have to do math. Like I want to see how much is in boxes, just boxes, not, not on the shelf. Because, like, you'll buy whatever is zero boxes, right? But I guess you can also buy whatever is low. In total. We have 104 pizzas, bro. Like, this thing, it says 19. So we'll just add that. We have 12. Six toilet paper. Well, seven now. So you can still actually do stock taking with this. Come on, Grandma. You've done this before. 100 times, you know this. So I assume this mod we're using will eventually, potentially, eventually use those numbers because if you think about it logically, it's 12 in a box. So 12 divided by 55. Um, but then you have to know also how many is on the shelf and how many can be on one tile shelf. And assuming that everything is on the shelf, you could just... Uh, do the math that way, I think. Uh, on how many boxes you buy. I mean, the scanner buy thing uh, could be very useful in the beginning. But I still think... This game needs a pricing for everything. I'm stuck. An inbuilt. Put everything at market value, market price, one, one button. So it's still only a 5k loans that we can take. Pricing. Oh my goodness. So it says there this thing went down to two dollars fifteen. Market price is three eighty seven. Wow. Okay. Two seventy two. I mean, this is still inefficient, right? But it's a lot better than what it used to be. So 
So hopefully soon there will be a button that says set all market price. That's it. Oh, that's 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 also nice. If you set it to last change like that. So this can work. Okay, everyone's out of the shop. Products not found was two. So now I can quickly just go on the PC. I mean, I still manually have to do it though. I just want a button that says market price. What is this? Well, it looked pretty before, but not anymore. I'm missing my mod, dude. My levels mod. Oh, I can't touch that box. Can't touch that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> can't touch that. Why are they so slow? <laughs> but yeah, we'll just uh, set this one out for another, I don't know, 20 minutes until our two hours is done. And then, yeah, we'll just hopefully, we'll, we'll just wait until all of this mod updates is done. It's just automatic pricing still, and then the leveling mod. I mean, this developer must know about that leveling mod. It's absolutely phenomenal. I would, if I was that guy, I would, I would go into like the most popular mod downloads. And just check what people do. If it's interesting, I might just, like, add a function to the game to do what that mod does. I don't know why developers don't do that.
Wage increase, but more productive. Look how busy this shop is, dude. And I'm getting no experience. Nothing. Not even slightly. Imagine we, we restart our cashiers from level 1 again. I'll be so unhappy, dude. By the way, they made the self checkout so much slower. So maybe I I don't know. Was this prices tab here before? I don't think it was, right? Beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep beep. Beep, beep, beep beep Girl, do you want me to show me do you, must I show you my balance to my bank, eh? I'm sure you'll give me your number then, you know what I'm saying? Earning about four thousand dollars per day. Per day, bro. Per day. Let me let me pull out that beautiful calculator quickly. Let me work it out for you. Four thousand times three sixty-five. That is a uh, a million a million. So will you give me your number now? That's why she's asking for help, dude. <laughs> Bye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You've been the one. Never mind, I got a new bitch. I'm a sexy bitch. A sexy bitch. I'm a sexy bitch. Yes, girl, go down on your knees. For the six figure earner a year, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, not even a year in this industry, and I'm already doing it with one shop. Wait until I start my branch. Then you'll see what rich is. I'll make the Walmart owner look like a piece of cake. There are shop levels already 65. Well, almost about to be. How's the red marking is doing? We marked quite a few things red. Oh, come on, dude. Coming. Oh, it's... Is it you? Oh, fuck. It was the wrong one. Sorry, bro. I don't know if it was you. So now <laughs> just double check because picking up the thing. Whoa, we need teal, dude.
It's veal, not teal. Do we have 14 in stock though? Like. No, we don't. We have 14 in total. That's where the problem comes in. And that's only the bottom one. So the red thing actually works. We prefer people looking for help. It's just annoying that we have to go do it. But we do it so much faster than they do. I mean, we make these, uh, this, these tellers look like they have no job. They have no reason to be here. I love how our shop looks like now, also. The black floor with the red walls. If neon pink color was there, I would have made that the wool color. Pretty much like uh, the sign we have outside that's still not lit up. Like, how is that change not there? By the way, this tablet thing, I think, is completely unnecessary. It would be so good at the start of the game to have this tablet, right? We could just take out this gun and order, you know. I could have done it here also with the, with the teal. Can do it here. No fear, my gun is here. It's gonna have to count 10, 14, 20, 30. So 30 is right here in front of us. And we have a total of 55, so we have in stock. So 1, 11, 19. We have 31, so we have in stock. So, 9. You see, this is what I'm saying. 14. Uh, 18. So we have 5 in stock. So this is why I'm saying, like, it's not a great method. Like, even with this gun, like, at a big scale, it, it doesn't help to stock take at all. It's too slow, and it doesn't do it. Because it should show you, this is how much is in your shelf, right? Where it shows that house icon. It shouldn't show that. It should, it should show two numbers, the left side or the right side, whatever, no matter where you want to put it. Should be how much is in storage or in boxes outside. And the other one should show... How much is on the shelf or inside a freezer, depending on the item, right? So you would know this is this is how many is on a shelf, 
And this is how many is in storage. Otherwise, you can still, like... You could still st uh, stock take the old way. Just looking at the boxes here, because it's the same thing. Oh, we're out of boxes for that item? We buy it. But for that to be functional, your lackey is outside, no matter how many workers you have eventually. They will just take too long to do stock taking. To move from the outside all these boxes in. So I honestly do believe also there should be a... A function in the game. Pay a hundred dollars a day for a service or something. But make these boxes appear inside your storage. The delivery company delivers it into your storage, not outside in front of a, in, in front of your store. Because this pile looks absolute dog, bro. So that that's the few changes I would say that the game is still lacking. Like we need to use mods to get these functions, and I feel like it should just be inbuilt into the game. And to be quite honest, it's the same thing for um, for your workers. Like, do you, you stop nerfing the checkout, the self checkout? The, the The problem is not the self checkout. The problem is your employees is not good enough. So instead of nerfing the self checkout, make give people a reason to have employees. That leveling thing is the reason why I started using it. I don't say you have to have to do it, but it's honestly one of the best things to do. So market price is is we'll just make it four eighty five. Four eighty five. So this would be four. What if I click on market price here? It doesn't work. <clears throat> the best way, the best way I can explain why people are using mods for this game is because the base game is just lacking too much. It is honestly lacking too much compared to others. Like, this is not okay. If a game looks like this, because the only way to do efficient stock taking is to set AFK for 10 minutes, maybe even more. And I have four workers right now. It, it's honestly not okay. You know, someone made a video recently saying supermarket simulator versus a TCG card, uh, card shop. And I do agree with what he says. He says that if you compare the, the face value of both games, the card shop simulator wins so far. Like, it's not even a joke, right? But Supermarket Simulator with mods out like outperforms a TCG card simulator by far. So this game is only good with mods. And this game lacks so much without it. You can't stock take. Setting prices now, at least there's something. But I still... Dude, I still want to just click on market price. And also, something I realized from the store. If I click on pricing, it shows yesterday's data. I need to, I need to triple click on last change in order to change today's stuff. Right, that, that's something that it shouldn't take you that many clicks to do. At least we have something now, right? This is still a huge problem in the base game. Honestly, you can't do proper stock taking. Well, you actually can't do any stock taking.
and everyone is using self checkout so the developer is thinking about like how can we nerf self checkout well let's make you let's make them slower right let's make them slower and now you have to help them dude the one thing i've learned from many many games out there many games i'm talking about league of legends and heroes of the storm dota and world of warcraft and like nerfing makes people just angry it, it it doesn't solve the problem do you know what does balancing the game instead of making people hate playing what they love you should give them the other reason why it's better instead of nerfing the self checkout you should be increasing to have employees make them twice as fast make them more valuable to have because i promise you at end game having four of these guys is not gonna be enough i haven't seen end game yet because i'm nowhere near that but i can honestly say this from what i see what i look at here that four of these guys will not be enough so the better option in my opinion would be to have eight self uh, checkout systems and then my job would be to just help everyone that needs help. I'm not I'm not saying nerfing is bad, but I'm saying nerfing is never the greatest answer. Cuz do you think this guy is like worth $110 a day? Bro, he's getting three grand a month. Just think about that. Do you think this, what he's doing here, do you think this is worth three grand a month? I can my very first time ever scan faster than this. And that is why people use the self-checkout. It's because you don't pay people per day. Even though it's twice as twice as much, right? The the counter is twice as much. Like this thing is three hundred four hundred dollars or whatever. This thing is nine hundred dollars. But the big difference is it's so much smaller as well. Right? It's smaller. You don't pay someone to do it. And it's almost just as fast. But yeah, that is, that is just my opinion. It, this is just making me angry when... Instead of improving stuff, they, they make make the game worse, you know? Cause like look at this traffic i have fucking four checkouts dude look at this queues and in all honesty it's because of these two checkout guys that is just blatantly slow By the way, I wanted to go back to the previous version of the game so that I can actually play with the mod. It makes sense having employees. <clears throat> you mind you. But the developer updated the mod or updated the game without having a backup to the previous version. So I'm, I'm just not going to play until that mod comes out. But that's pretty much what it comes down to.
So I'm at a point now where I need four cashiers. Four. And the queue would still be this bad. Because self checkout and the employee is. Okay, never mind. They, they nerf self checkout so much, it's half the speed of the employee. Wow, it's such a big nerf. And every now and then they need help. And it's because I think most people say like, oh, nerf it, it's fine. I'll just buy more of it. Until it works again for your shop. But now it's so slow that I want to just poke my eyes out. Goodness, he's looking at that ass, bro. I saw you. I saw you. Don't worry, I'll... I'll also look, bro. I don't know. I can, I can stand here. She won't mind. I get a great view of her, um, of her eyes. Yeah, I'm totally looking at her eyes. <laughs> He's like, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, girl. But you, at the end of the day, you're just, uh, you know, something to brag about. You know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she knows we're talking about her. Goodness. Don't mind me standing right here, girl. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bye, girl. Yeah, this is just... The game at, at this moment, in my opinion, is is unplayable because like i said even with four cashiers the queue will still be so big we're gonna sit here until 1 a.m every day if the timer was actually continuing on from from 9 p.m so either the clients have to get nerfed or the cashiers have to get at least twice as fast like, half the amount of clients. Or you're gonna sit, like, honestly, you're gonna sit here until 1am if the timer was continuing. So yeah, that, that, that is... I, I actually agree with the guy who made that video, saying that... Uh, if you compare the two games face value without mods, like, there's no comparison. With mods, this game is playable, it's functionable, it's really fun. Without mods, it's tedious. Stock taking is bad, if not impossible, because of all the boxes outside. I mean, look at this, bro. <laughs> So what, my only option now is to just be AFK for 10 minutes until they solve it. And you can say, hey, you can do stock taking yourself. Technically you can't. Because I'm going to replace my tags. And if you know where everything is, it's literally the worst thing you can do is replacing your tags. Oh, but you if you know where everything is, how can you replace tags? Well, at the end of the day, I could misclick and click here, and it goes accidentally there. It's, it's that easy. So, I would say, like, if, the mo if, if this game developer is ever watching this video, this is, this is what I would do, okay? I would go on Nexus Mods, and I would check what is the most downloaded mods for the game, and then try and implement something into it into the game itself, into the base game. I know this is early access, and you can only do uh, uh, so much at a time, but this is my opinion, okay? Number one, there needs to be a system with one click, one click function. Now, this is a good step in the right direction, okay? 
for the pricing. But there must be a button, let's say, below the X, right? Below the X button. There must be a button that says um, market price. Market price all, or something like that. If I click on that, everything is set to market price. Boom. No mod needed for automatic pricing anymore. Secondly, make a service. Make a service for boxes. Okay? Where you have an option if you don't take that service, you pay. You don't want to pay that additional fee. The box is delivering outside. People, some people would be fine with it. But give an option, okay? If that option is ticked, the box will not be on the outside. It will be inside yourself if there is an open slot. If there is no open slot, the box can spawn outside. That's fine. Okay, that's the second thing I would do. The third thing is, for, for, for the love of God, please, make your tellers valuable. Stop nerfing the self-counter, the self-checkout counter. It is unnecessary. Make, make it that people want to have employees. They are not worth $100 a day. They're not. Even though later down the line, you can see I'm sitting on $36,000, they're still not worth $100 a day. I would still, even if I have to help people, I would still rather have five, six of these machines than to have two retards that is just as slow. Make them more valuable. Give people a reason to buy and have these guys. Whether there's a leveling system or just blatantly twice as fast. They are still too slow. You can only have four cashiers. They are way too slow to do anything. Honestly. Uh, what else would I do? Um, what else would I do? So I, I feel like just that alone. Oh yeah, stock taking. Stock taking I feel like is also a big thing. So you can see over here, it shows the same thing on, like, on the PC. So on the PC, like, I can just show anywhere, but like, looking at the serial here, it shows 26. I don't know where those 26 is allocated, right? I'm assuming I have stock and that's it. So I'm not going to buy this then, right? But stock taking is not like that stock taking is boxes inside your storage so this number shouldn't be like that it should show two different numbers one is inside the store what is inside the store that should be a number and that's all of these numbers combined 288 that is inside the store okay and then what is not inside the store can be displayed as well so a number above that or somewhere, you know. I honestly think the 12 box thing is a waste to, to show how many uh, products is in a box. But that would be inside your store, like inside the storage, sorry. It's two, it's two very different things, okay. Store taking um, it has everything to do with how much stock is at the back end. And it's inefficient to walk to every shelf and to check, oh, I have five of these. Oh, I have, okay, I need to buy this. Sure, it, it makes it a bit better to have this thing, but it doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't. Do you expect everyone to have a huge store, but every time you upgrade your, your product license, you get punished to have more items? It shouldn't be like that. You should be rewarded. Okay, and dollars is just not rewarding enough. There should be easier functions where the... E dude, even if you have to pay someone to do stock taking, I'll be fine with that. Have an employee, like one of the cashiers or one of the storage dudes, that will do stock taking. Because otherwise, I'll be using mods. The stock taking is almost impossible, and if it is possible, it's not fun in this game. 
It takes away the experience, it takes away the fun. Like, I'm looking at boxes, and then when I buy, the fucking stuff is laying outside. And they almost never see the day of light inside the storage. Another change. These guys should never take boxes from the outside into the store. It should be only from the storage. These boxes need to go into your store. Why? Otherwise you'll have seven boxes with two items in it each. Do you see the problem here? So you need to get another mod to solve that. It's not okay. These guys, if there's, lo if there's low stock inside the store, they should be using the inside of the, s the storage first. Take the box from here, move inside, and then use that box. If there is no box inside, then take the box outside, and then use the item inside the store, uh, inside the store, and what is left goes into storage. Okay, it's just a priority difference that needs to change. But now, if there's, if there's items in the storage, and they take the box from the outside, walk into, and now there's two boxes, both maybe has three items each. That's just stupid. I, I don't know how people are not talking about like this as a problem for a long time now. Maybe they changed it because it looks a little different now. We have a lot of items outside, but they're busy with the insides, so I don't know. That is all the changes I would recommend. A one-click set all to market price. A faster cashier. Um, like, stop nerfing the self-checkouts. Because even though... It is tedious at the moment. I would still rather have six of these because they're smaller. You don't pay someone per day. Stop nerfing it. It doesn't make sense, okay? Um, rather improve the cashiers. Give people a reason to have the cashier. Make it more fun. Make it more appe uh, appealing. Just make it better overall. Um, also, this mod I would also put in the game, okay? This marking red for them to not place items there anymore. It's a really cool mod, and I think it's it's something that can be put into the game also. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. You have yellow is normal, and if it's red, they will just never restock that shelf. It it's, shouldn't be that hard to do. Um, and yeah, honestly, I think if these changes happen, I think this game would be phenomenal as a base game. But at the moment, it's just uncomparable. There's just too much missing to make this game function as fun. The mods, dude, the mods with this game is phenomenal. I love it so much. But look how long I have to stay here just for the boxes to get inside the storage. For me to actually start to stock take. <laughs> it's not okay, dude. But yeah, that is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, products not found. Six. Beautiful. Whether I have the products now, I'm not too sure. Goodness. Well, there's a lot of products now. Because I'm using mods to buy. And hopefully they are working... Uh, so look at this. I have to click on pricing, okay? It, it shows one day ago. So this should not be like that. It should show what just changed in price. But no, I have to click on last change one, two, three times to see today's stock. And then I have to manually set a price every time. So... I, I just think this could be a lot easier. A lot easier. I don't want to make a rant. 
about it, but I do agree with what the guy said. Like, if you compare the face value of both games, it's unfortunately just uncomparable. There is never this amount of boxes outside, even though your workers is like 50 times slower and more expensive in TCG card game. There is just no comparison. Your cashier in this game is actually slower. The only difference is the guy counts cents and dollars out where this cashier doesn't. So, it, but it's still like, it's uncomparable, like the two games. It's not that the one is more fun. The one is just more playable, more functionable without any mods. And to be honest, if the mods don't work, I don't want to play. Like, <laughs> it's that simple. So we're going to wait until the mods is working again, functionable. Um... Because, like, I really I really want to finish this game, and I, I really enjoy it with the mods. So we're going to definitely uh, finish this game. Uh, I just have to wait for the developers to make updates. Uh, I think today's update is is bad, to be honest. The tablet is, is fine for early game stages, but late game, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm not going to walk around here. Tick. 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 Okay, buy that. Tick. Fuck that shit, dude. That is not how you do stock taking. Holy. Stock taking has everything to do with counting, right? And trust me, no shop owner of any real life store will be the guy counting. They would pay someone to do it. So, get more people to hire, or get an automated system, or get something to make things easier. I would say the best thing to do, the step number one, Get this fucking shit out of the game. All these boxes outside, no one wants it, dude. Not clients don't want to see this shit. I don't want to see this. Like, it looks beautiful inside. It looks phenomenal. I can stock take. But out there? No, dude. No, this is in front of my store. I don't want this here. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys again when the mods work. Take care. Bye-bye.